Hey you guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. Thank you so much for hopping on. If you have hopped on to this video, you already know what I'm gonna bring some motivation and great tips on how to go, go, go forward inside of your life with the topic that we're gonna talk about. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, you guys. And if you guys like this video, at the end of this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, leave a comment, let me know what your thoughts are. I really, really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's get into it. So as you clicked on this video, you know already that I'm gonna bring you some great tips and motivation in, you know, have you really forgive them, right? And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I, I, I seen this amazing um, video, right, on TikTok with Steve Harvey and him basically saying, you know, have you really forgive? And if you're still holding on to the hurt, the pain, and the anger, then you really don't know the definition of forgiveness. Because at the end of the day, you cannot forgive somebody if you're holding on to those negative emotions of that person. And, and, and understanding that forgiveness is not for that other person, it is for you, right? And it's so, I know it's easier said than done. And, you know, I know that it's, it's challenging to forgive somebody, especially if they hurt you, especially if they brought you so much pain, especially if they disrespected you, they put you down, they, they hurt you so much. I understand. But at the end of the day, so many people want to, you know, break free from this pain that we feel when somebody hurts us so dearly. And we want to get rid of this pain. And we're just like, God, please take away this pain. You know, please help me to heal. Please help me to get over this, this feeling. And I know, trust me, I know. If anybody is watching this video and you guys seen um, other U YouTube videos of my videos, you guys know already that I, I, you know, my story is I used to be in an 18-year narcissistic, abusive, mentally, emotional, emotionally, physically abusive relationship. And I've been through the dirt you guys and it took me a really long time it's been a year now that we finally you know he he broke up with me he moved on to a new supply like this and I felt like my world was gonna crumble you know I he was he was so mean to me through the process and up to this day still abuses me through different ways because we have a child together and I gotta learn I had to learn through the whole year and how to co-parent with this abusive person, how to release the anger, the, the frustration, the fear I had of that person, just all these built up emotions that I had that was clinging on to this person that was kind of like a built in pattern that became such a routine because we were always teeter-tottering with our emotions because he would have me high one day and then low the next day, high one day, the low the next day. And that's what, you know, narcissists do, right? So with that being said, it took me a whole year and I'm not 100% there, but I am so better off than where I was from before. And this is why I make these videos. This is why I'm sharing this with you that you have to ask yourself, have you really forgive that person? Because if you... If you're holding on to the anger, the frustration, the animosity, the jealousy, the just negative emotions that are really draining you each day, when you have these thoughts and these emotions that arise of this person, because there's such a pattern of you guys fighting, and, and, and especially if you guys ended off at bad terms and that person really hurt you, it's really challenging to let go. And this is not just in a relationship, this could be a friendship, this can be you know a family member that hurt you really dearly, that you know, let you down and you're clinged on to just this anger of just like every time I hear this person's name, their voice, like I've been there. I couldn't even for a whole year, couldn't even fathom to hear my ex's voice because he used to bring me so much anger and pain. And, and that is the exact thing that was holding me back from really releasing you know, the feelings I had for him or really being able to move on mentally and emotionally to work to work on me to truly love myself to truly move forward and make room for someone new and better things to come into my life so sometimes that anger that frustration and that not forgiving that other person is what is road blocking us from actually healing and this is a big reality check i had to have 
when because for the whole you know good seven eight months I was just I had anxiety I had fear I had frustration I had anger you know I had these mixed emotions that were just draining me feeling like I didn't want to be here no more I was I had so much anxiety I was just I was drained mentally and emotionally drained every day waking up thinking about this person thinking of how it's unfair what they did to me just driving my mind crazy asking why did they hurt me what did I do so wrong to them and just going through all these emotions that kept bringing me back to anger so I had so much anger of this person right and then no matter what I did no matter how nice I was to that person they kept treating me bad and I had to realize that that anger that that jealousy the frustration I had of that person was only hurting me it was only consuming me it was only clinging on to me that person was you know, I don't know how they were, but they were continuing on with their life. They were continuing and, and, and you know, they weren't at any means trying to make amends with me, right? It really didn't. And this is what, that's why at the end of the day, I know when somebody hurts you or somebody puts you down or somebody does something to you, the, we want closure. We want that person to, you know, show us any type of emotions that they're sorry or they and we cling on to these things that we want from this other person but at the end of the day I had to come to realize and this is what I help you guys to realize is that everybody has something called free will and at the end of the day nobody owes you anything the only person that you owe something to is yourself and that's why it's so important to forgive because forgiveness is not for that other person forgiveness is for yourself because the only way that you can heal the only way that you can release the pain the frustration the anger the anxiety is you is when you actually forgive and i'm saying this out of experience you guys it it took me a really long time to honestly this is the this is the way that i'm going to give you guys some tips on how i was able to forgive this person who hurt me for 18 years who put me through hell and back that's still putting me through stuff this is the biggest tip that I can give you to help you to forgive that person who hurt you. I don't know if you're a believer of God, but I am. So, I, you know, if this resonates with you, it re resonates with you. But it's still the universe, right? Whatever you believe in. Because at the end of the day, I looked at it like this. Karma is real, right? Karma is at the end of the day, if somebody does something wrong to you, they're going to receive it, that karma back in a different way that's why they always say to be good to other people because you know it's karma you know what when you give out good you'll get back good it karma works just like the laws of attraction that you know if you want something really really bad if you stay positive that will it'll, it'll attract to you but if you stay negative you'll attract more negative it's the same thing with karma so i always believe at the end of the day if you put out good energy to even that person who hurt you, even that person that did negativity to, to you, let them have their bad karma, right? If they want to do bad and give out bad into the world, they're going to get it, right? And who knows when they're going to get it, but that's on them. But at the end of the day, you want good things to happen to you. You want to be able to heal. You want to be able to be loved. You want to be able to have great things in your life. Then the only way that you can do that is to even though that person hurt you, even that person that put you through hell or, or mean to you, wish them well. Because when you wish them well, that's you attracting better wellness and better into your life because you're wishing them well. So that's one tip on how I looked on forgiving because karma, right? The next tip I can give you is at the end of the day, we are all God's God's creation. God created us. We are all brothers and sisters in his image, right? No matter who hurt you, no matter who put you through anything, right? We are all God's children and God is created out of love, right? We are all love. We are, we are love. We give love and we share love, right? But we are all love and we are all God's children. So if we are all God's children, you look at it in a sense that that's no matter what that person did to hurt you, they're still God's child. So at the end of the day, I'm going to share to them and give them that same love that God placed in me. That if I share that love and I give off that love, that's just going to be returned to me 10 times full. 
the and God sees that I'm giving off love and that I'm being of love. And when you be of love, then you're like a magnet to attract all that you want and more because you're living in the highest vibration. The highest vibration is love, right? So you're doing, a, you know, greatness for you in forgiving them because at the end of the day, you're not allowing that to steal your love and your joy. The next tip I can give you and how to for, looking at to forgive them, because at the end of the day, when you are living in anger, fear, frustration, and just hatred and, and, and animosity and jealousy of that person who hurt you, guess what? That's stealing your peace. That's stealing your power that you have to create happiness inside of your life. So remember, you are the creator of your reality. You are the gatekeeper to your happiness. So if you are living in that anger, that for all those negative emotions, allowing that person to consume your mind and your life, you're literally giving away your power of your life each and every day you wake up. You're just like here. My life doesn't mean anything. I'm just going to give it to you. And, I'm, and you're giving your life energy, your, li like your life that you have on this earth, you're giving it away to that person. Even though that person's not in your life, even though they're not around you, you're just giving it away by staying in that anger, the fear, the frustration, the animosity. You're literally giving away your power of creating a blissful life of, uh, for your life that you have yourself. You're giving away your energy, you're giving away your mind, you're giving away everything, your whole being, you're giving away to that person. And no person inside of your life should have that much power over you except for God. No one, right? Or your, if you don't believe in God, yourself. You should, you should have all the power, not another person, taking, stealing your lifespan and stealing the power that you have with inside of you. You're God's greatest creation. They don't deserve to steal your power. They don't deserve to take that from you, right? And that's why forgiving them is what's going to take you taking back your power, you living in your power, you living in the best best version of yourself because you're, you're deciding that I love me so much, I'm not going to give away my power any longer to a person that is not even worth my time and my energy, because I am worth my time and my energy. The next tip I can give you on why to forgive them is because at the end of the day, you are love and you are worthy of love. You are worthy of greatness. You are worthy to somebody, somebody to treat you like that queen or king that you are. But you cannot expect or on that on yourself or anybody else to come in your life and treat you that way if you are holding on to that anger and frustration and the anxiety and the fear and the jealousy of another person who hurt you, right? And did you wrong. You can't live in love. You cannot, because it, it, there's, no, there's no anger, fear, frustration. That's not of God, right? That's not of, you know, what, what we are made, meant to live on this earth to be. We're meant to live on this earth to be happy, blissful. This is why God woke you up to see another day, right? To live in that love, to live in that happiness and joy and, and all that. And the reason, how I can prove that to you is because think about when you were a baby. You didn't know about anger. You didn't know about frustration. You didn't know about fear. Babies are fearless. Babies are angry less. They're just happy, go lucky, you know, blissful. Think back of that. Think back, and that's how I can prove to you that that's where we're meant to be here on this earth to be, right? So loving yourself enough to say, you know what, I love me so much that I'm not going to give away my happiness and my joy to, to, to be anger, angry of this person anymore, right? It's not even worth it. I love me too much. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to release you. I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to allow you to live in your journey and I'm going to live in my journey and I'm going to move forward. And that's the power that you have to forgive and finally be able to move forward. And that's what's going to help you to heal. Because each time that you, you work on these tips that I'm giving you, right, is going to build up this strength inside of you that you're not going to, you're not going to 
give your, your 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 energy and your time and your emotions to that person who hurt you anymore. They're going to become irrelevant into your life because when you start working on these tips that I'm sharing with you, it is now going to take baggages off of your mind, baggages off of your heart to open up your mind, open up your heart to allow, to make room to, for bigger and better things to come inside of your life. Because when a person hurts you, when a person puts you through hell and back, that is the biggest life lesson for you. It's the greatest gift. Because at the end of the day, it's going to teach you valuable lessons about life. It's going to teach you valuable lessons about yourself that you maybe wouldn't have known if that person didn't hurt you. It, it, and, and, and for me, I, I can tell you guys, it opened my eyes out to see what love is and what love isn't. What I want, how I want to be treated and how I know that I will never accept to be treated from anybody on this earth, right? So it opened up that pain of that person hurting me and putting me down and doing all those things actually brought great insight and how uh, uh, of more of who I am as a person. So it's all about the next tip I can give you about forgiveness is your perspective. How are you going to look at how that person hurt you? Are you going to look at it as a negative thing? Or are you going to look at it as a, oh man, that's a great learning lesson. That person came in my life to teach me valuable lessons that now I can take and heal from and grow from and become the best version of myself. So forgiving them now gives you a better perspective on knowing yourself. Knowing what you want in life, knowing what you won't won't accept in life. So then that helps you actually to bring you forward in life to not go through the same nasty patterns over and over and over again. That if you can stop, forgive, release, let go, you can really learn great things to help you to move forward, to make room for bigger and better to enter in your life. And that's the power of forgiveness. You don't forgive for that other person. You forgive for yourself. You forgive to set yourself free. You forgive to make room for bigger and better things to come in your life. Because life is not happening to you. Life is happening for you. There are great lessons to be learned every day as you wake up. Every day that you rise. God is giving you another chance and another opportunity to become the best version of yourself, to open your heart up, to open your mind up, to receive all what life has to offer to you. But you are the gatekeeper to your happiness. And the only way that you can live in true happiness is forgiving the people from the past, forgiving the people who hurt you, forgiving the people who lied to you, forgiving the people who did any wrongdoings to you and allow them to walk on their journey to live in their karma. And you live in your karma by living in love, peace, joy, and happiness. Because you are deserving to feel those amazing feelings. And I hear it all the time. People always wondering, like, how can I stop this pain? How can I stop this, you know, feeling of feeling these negative emotions? And the best way you can do that is through forgiveness, you guys. I've been there. I've done that. I've experienced it. And this is why I'm trying to help you guys to wise up and rise up inside of your life to grow right? To become the best version of yourself and be happy and joyful and live the best life that you can. And it all starts with you. So I, with all that being said, I hope I motivated you. I hope I inspired you. I hope I gave you guys some great tips and tools and how you guys can, you know, forgive, release, and let go and finally be able to heal fully from these burdens that have been laying on your heart and laying on your mind. And if I can do it, so can you. So I say in all my videos, you guys, each one teach one, share the love, share the knowledge. If this video has inspired you, uplifted you, and motivated you in some sort of way, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and share, share the love. Share this video with somebody else that you know who can benefit from hearing this because we have a gift to share knowledge and we have a gift to learn each day as we rise, right? To become the best version of ourselves. So share this gift and share this knowledge with somebody else, right? If you guys, again, enjoy the talks that I share with you guys, the motivation I share with you guys, join the Wise Up, Rise Up community, you guys. I have a Wise Up, Rise Up uh, Facebook group. I have an amazing podcast that I'm going to be dropping today on, you know, Anchor and Spotify. It's called the Wise Up, Rise Up podcast. I have an amazing TikTok um, account, you guys, that it talks all about relationships and motivation. It's going insane right now. It's doing very well. Go check that TikTok out account 
out as well. And if you guys ever want to book some time with me for me to help you to wise up and rise up inside of your life, I'm going to leave a link tree link. You can book a free half an hour session with me and see if there's a ways that we can work together so I can help you to wise up and rise up inside of your life. Let's get it, you guys. You guys deserve greatness. Feel it inside of your heart and live by the words I'm telling you. You guys deserve everything you want and more inside of life. So let's get it.